All right, hi folks, and welcome to At Party 2012 Competitions. It is a pleasure to see you. We're going to start out the evening with freestyle graphics. Uh, well, how we're going to handle things is this, so you can keep track of the entries. We're going to be using a little bit of super hyper futuristic technology here. And uh, so we're going to be showing things in the order you see on the list of the transparency. And as we've shown them, I'm going to cross them out. And then we'll just show it again before we show the next entry. And that, sir, is our wonderful futuristic alternative to Party Meister this year. Awesome! Without further ado, I believe we're going to continue to the first entry in the freestyle graphics competition. Yes, no? Okay. Here we go. Uh, ah. Okay. <laughs> that first entry was Hollow Spaces by Zinon. This next entry. <laughs> ah, no. uh, just, just, just pick one. <laughs> is, this the one was is this the one that was second in the list? Yes. All right. Everyone take a look. We'll leave it up for a bit. Okay, so that second entry was Madonna with Child by Prince of the Obsessed Maniacs. <laughs> Next. <coughs> yes. And that last one was Australian Gun Game by Forcer. That ends the Freestyle Graphics competition. <laughs> Moving on to freestyle music, we'll be starting out with Rust and Stardust by Askai.
is Compact by Kepler.
we're going to give BDR by Coda another try.
next up, the bass line by Power Trace.
Next up, Demise by T101.
wins the uh, freestyle music competition at At Party 2012. So go get a drink, and we will set up the OHP competition. Five minute break. We have 30 seconds and then we can talk about it. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly. Hey, thank you for listening to this. Of course, um, you should be here. Yes. We'll hook you up with the guys running it. We'll hook you up with the guys running it. For next year. Yeah, just, I mean, do it. <laughs>
Hi folks, so we're going to start the overhead projector combo. If we have any more breaks, we'll be using that little jingle there to get your attention. So, we're going to start out with an OHP, uh, the OHP category. And the first entry is OHP, Mega Demo 9000, by Desire and TRSI.
will be transitions by IC. And we're going to just wait just a moment while this sets up. That was a really bad one. Yes. In the meantime, I'm going to tell you what the next competition is going to be after this. So further appropriately, after the overhead projector competition, we're going to have the wild competition. <laughs> I was going to mention this at the end, but I might as well mention it now. The way the voting is going to be handled, we'll hand out voting sheets and then you can just rank things one to five. There'll be lists of all the entries in a particular category, little lines, and then you just write it the numbers one to five. And tomorrow will be the award ceremony. Uh, tell, tell me, tell me when to start. All right. You have the track. All right. Thank you. Thank
technology, it's actually running at a lower resolution than the original game ran at, because the original game was ran at the 1024 by 1024, oh, wow. but it drew each individual dot individually, so it was actually controlling the, 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 the electron beam. Um, con uh, however, our, our device costs about maybe $150 US dollars in total. Um, the original machine ran in, uh, for about $100,000 in 1962. Ooh. So, you know, I think, we are, we, I, I think we've got a fair trade off here. The, um, while we try to implement the hardware on something as oh. different as possible from the original <laughs> hardware, um, the uh, game controllers, we try to be as faithful as possible. So you have gigantic toggle switches, a big fat arcade oh. button, and, um, and um, and really, they're huge. They're like they're larger than the actual device running the game. So, um, and there are two of them. Um, so, I will welcome people to to give it a try. Maybe after um, after all the combo entries. And uh, well, I'll, I'll just I'll just give one more anecdote. The biggest difficulty that we had figuring out this and the the, the the game when we read the source code was realizing that all the numbers we were reading were actually in octal. Um, <laughs> this was this is mentioned once in the DEC uh, <laughs> manual. It's just assume programmers programmed in Octo, um, and we have no idea. So all these decimal numbers were actually missing nines when we didn't realize that until right at the end. Anyway, um, space yeah, work. Space work. We know everyone. <laughs> Yeah, 
but Aeneas surprises her with an answer that she has, as far as you know, not heard before. Aeneas has no fate but you, the Dido smile and I'll defy the feeble stroke of destiny. Oh, I'll back. <laughs> That's not a verb I recognize. Just a smile. Just a smile. No, just not. <laughs> <laughs> <Cry. laughs> <laughs> Come on, I know there's some folks in the audience who played Dio. You hear nothing unexpected. Dido hesitates for a long moment, perhaps remembering your suggestion that she accept Aeneas' love. Then she smiles with glorious abandon, and the happy couple heads off toward the palace to the, to the south joking about a dramatic performance that some members of the court are planning for later today. The new lovers are planning to play the title roles in an outdoor performance of, Actaean and, of the Actaeon and Diana story. Dido and Aeneas head toward the palace to the south. We're a palace. <laughs> <laughs> this dangerous act would achieve little. Defy destiny. <laughs> Go south, how about? <laughs> you move to the entry hall of the palace and take a look around, but finding nothing of interest, Go north. you return to the palace knoll. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Half. You enter a simple... Okay, you need to stop for a minute. <laughs> you enter a simple path, branching toward a dark, craggy area to the north, and a lovely forest to the east. However, immediately after leaving the palace knoll, you are attacked by a pack of vicious hounds. In most ways, they look like pretty typical hunting dogs, but they seem weirdly intent on harming you. Even their yelping sounds odd, an unnatural keening noise. You can see some hounds in a branch here. The vicious hounds prevent you going south. Burn branch. I like burn branch. <laughs> oh. Somebody said X me. Oh, I try that. No, no, X space me is what he meant. You are Belinda, the younger sister of Dido, the Queen of Carthage. Though your official duties are few, you have taken on the informal role of head of security for your beloved sister. Call security. <laughs> I will note we have a five minute limit for this compo. How are we doing? I think it's about a. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Oh, so we died. Okay, so the vicious hounds prevent you going east. Finally, the nasty dogs move in and finish you off. Unfortunately, you've not managed to help your beloved sister this time. Her dignified but fickle boyfriend leaves her to found the city of Rome, and she takes her own life, inspiring huge volumes of purple prose, the best by the Roman poet Virgil. by Kabari, which is a GP2X demo.
Library 2012. Next up, Old School Graphics. Please mute the microphone so I can move it. Done. Apo by Khan. Next up, Room for One by Crew.
next tone collage by Colin Stanton.
is that second one there? Strange Game by Damage X. Alright, so this is a over here. Um, okay, well, why don't you set that down? And yeah, that's uh, that TurboGrafx-16 set up somewhere. Can I turn this camera over here for a second? Just because, you know, there's hardware and stuff, right? Uh, it's over there. <laughs> so, folks who are not watching the stream, uh, there's some kind of setup happening right now. It's the Turbo Graphics 16. I mentioned the Turbo Graphics 16. Alright, so let me. Uh, also, I'll send Let me, okay, let me here so I can get the video. There's the audio. Okay, so that down the video. Okay. And don't. <laughs> uh, Ed, do you care which one? No. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I'm not going to do the video just yet. Uh, no, not just yet. Um, can you very quickly um, just start something? Give me a level so I can just set set the level here. A anything that makes noise. Should, I, should there be audio at the end? Without the display, I can't like. Okay. All right. All right. We'll, we'll just we'll just kind of play with this stuff. Oh, oh, that's definitely audio. Uh, just just leave it and okay. let me set that. That's a little. That's too high. That's. Uh, that's good. Okay. Uh, just a, just a second. I'm just gonna take zip light down a little bit here. All right and. You were okay. Uh, did you stop it? Can we go? Stop.
we have another old scroll. Was the old school too, right? right? Competition at Ad yeah. Party 2012. <laughs> <laughs> they're both they're both <laughs> Uh, and that, folks, was the Ad, old school demo competition at Ad Party 2012. Um, there's, there's one more. There's one more. Yeah. Surprise! It's, 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 it's a CODA's. It's, oh, it's, it's called. Called. <laughs> I need to write it down. <laughs> just, just, just get a demo? Anybody? That, that one. Yeah, there we go. We have one more. Last voice. Do we have sound for this? Yeah. It's very, very nothing. Um. <laughs> sound, right? No. No? Oh, okay. 253 bytes. Ah. Uh, nice. 53 bytes? 253 bytes. So that's a size limited old school demo. In DOS. Taking back to the days of DOS. Let's get the mic very nice. What was the size of the last one? <laughs> A lot more than 253 bytes. <laughs> Alright. So, what was the name of this one? Anybody? Coda? Humpy. What? Humpy! Welcome to my Humpy. Humpy, okay. All right. Now, I heard that we will be joined by a bicycle chopper gang. So I want them to be able to enjoy the last two combos with us. So I'm just going to double check on their ETA. So we're going to take another quick break. And then we will spin up the end of the evening. Five minutes and keep your ears out for the jingle.
Well, it seems to be rolling up there. All right. Can I have my feedback? Yep. yep. Next in the demo competition, Annex and Sid's first date. It's an executable, 96K. Um, in the case of a Windows demo, 95. and it's oh, a program yeah, that right. runs real-time on your computer. Um, you okay. can use it to show off okay. their coding, musical, and artistic right. skills. Right. Here we go! Mad Brakes! Thank you. 
So moving on to the last competition, uh, we have the intros, which that is to say size limited demos. Um, in the final competition at At Party, we've got some real interesting ones here. All right. So first, what looks to it's, be it's either, it's either 64 or four, but this is actually an executable graphics. Um, because this was the only executable graphics we had. Yeah, an executable graphic is How a graphic that runs in the computer. It, this, this is a 3K. By F squared. 3K. 3K. As you can see there on the screen. For those not in the know, that wasn't made in Photoshop, that was drawn with code. Next, Untitled by Penderfrauds. Uh, what size was this again? 12K. All right, 12K. Plus some uh, libraries too. don't know uh, 12k so we're talking you know a word pad file kind of thing that's a pretty darn small file to do what it did all right next in the intro category let me see if I can get this right I've been coached they are BBS and fulcrum uh, 1080 
last but not least, the final presentation in at party 2012 in the intro category and in fact in the entire party. This is our last combo. W4K3D by Northern Dragon. There's one thing that you need to ah, No, 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 This is Polaris and Northern Dragons. <laughs> There's one thing you need for this production, and the gentleman will be handing it out. Just look for a Dragons t-shirt, so do mine. It's, uh, glasses. Oh, 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 that you get uh, 3D glasses for a production that's truly 3D. So yes, um, combo through. I think we'd like to hold up until the entire room has glasses. The size, of, oops, the size of this demo is 4K. So 4K, that's going to be smaller than a lot of WordPad files without formatting context for the folks who don't know. I'm now going to sit on the floor before I fall down. How are we doing? Is there anybody who does not have glasses? Speak now or forever hold your peace. There we go. There we go. Who's missing some? Raise your hand so we can see it. Raise your hand if you do not have glasses. Are we good? Uh, I need one more pair over here. I mean, four, three, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Blast off! Ah,
Party 2012. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Nora. Thank you. Thank you.